guys. Well, today I'm in the office and I'm working on my 3D printer. I've got a print job that I'm trying to do for a gentleman, and I'm having an issue that I think is pretty common to most of us who own this particular uh, XYZ 3D Pro 1.0 printer, and that is the tube. Uh, likes to slip out of the fitting. If you've ever had any kind of issue, uh, like in this case, the last time I ran out of filament in the middle of a run, and so I had to take the tube off in order to uh, get the filament out. Uh, well, when I put the tube back in and started the new run, it just pulled right out. Uh, these fittings are cheap and they don't stay in there and then after a while they kind of it gets kind of frayed and it just it doesn't want to stay in there now you can buy you can buy these print uh, these fittings these are just uh, four millimeter tubing push to connect fittings uh, you can buy these all day long you can get a bag of tin for like five bucks and every time this happens you can just swap out this fitting well that's all fine and good however uh, I would like to try to solve the problem altogether if I could so now what I have done is I have picked up some compression fittings that are four millimeter and these compression fittings tighten up and lock the hose through this ferrule. So it'll slide this ferrule over the tubing like so. Well, actually, you slide the nut on first. Slide the nut on first. And then you slide the ferrule over. And then and you can see that the ferrule is tapered. Anyways, you can see that this is tapered and so is the inside of the nut. And the inside of the thread here is also tapered. And so when you stick it together and tighten it up, it locks it because it squeezes it and it's not going to pull out at least uh, that's the theory I'm pretty sure that anybody that's had this particular printer ran into this problem over time these just get worn out and it pushes the tube out so let's give this a try I'm going to disconnect everything and uh, get this installed all right, so you can see there's quite a bit you have to take off. You got to take the side panels off. You have to pull this panel off. You have to unscrew uh, this particular cover right here. It can be a pain in the butt, and depending on how much you remove and replace your hose, um, you can mess these fittings up pretty easy. So even though the fittings are cheap. Um, it's just the hassle of having to change it out so we want to unscrew this now this is held in there's a nut behind here and let me see if I can get a photo of that a shot of that so you can see that there's just this nut down in there and this just kind of screws through screws through there into the nut that's all it's holding it in so what I want to do is just replace this broken one. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there, but this broken one with the compression fitting that I've got here. And see if we can't solve this problem all together. Let me get that screwed in. Camera's kind of in the way here. All right, so I've got the new fitting screwed in. 
So what we've done is we have replaced the push to connect fitting that tend to break with this compression fitting. Now this stud is a little bit longer however it bolts right in and it's not a problem and so now I'm just going to put all this back together this cover goes on first and this is a Torx screw And then we can put this cover on back on. There's a couple of tabs in here. You just need to pull them back to pop this out. And then first you need to remove this little cover in the back here. We'll put that down. There we go. Okay, before we put all this stuff on, I guess I'll go ahead and put this hose on. Now, I'm not going to replace this hose, although uh, you can buy a replacement hose. This is 4 millimeter. I'm just going to reuse this same hose. I think it'll be fine. Whoops, I've got to put the nut on first, then the ferrule. And then you want to slide this as far as you can and tighten up this nut. Uh, there's not much room to work here so you have some needle nose here and again this stuff doesn't have to be super super tight. You don't want to break anything. Now that shouldn't pull out and if I need to take this off it's better to take it off of the bottom here because it's always pushing rather than uh, trying to push it out. Alright, one, one last thing I want to do is just make sure that I can get the filament through there. I haven't tried this yet, so... Easy. So that's good. All right. Uh, next, we need to put our front panel back on. I guess I can zoom out for this. Uh, this blue ribbon plugs into this side right here and the blue side is the blue side is out like so probably a good idea to leave this plugged up if possible but I've got the cable back in and just pop this on Everything with this machine just kind of snaps together. And the other side. All right. Should be good. So now I'm going to fire it back up. We'll get the filament loaded and I can continue on. So, just a quick fix for the XYZ 3D Pro. Change out your quick disconnect fitting, your push to connect, change that out. If you're having trouble with the this compression type fitting. And that should solve this problem. 
So just a quick fix for the XYZ 3D Pro for your filament feed tube. So if you're having pull out issues with your push to connect fitting, just simply replace it with this compression fitting. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.